Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a Thread Up 5 pounds DIY jewelry box. And this 5 pounds DIY jewelry box is from Mechanisburg, Pennsylvania. Okay guys, let's dive in and open it up. So if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Gorleo and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can definitely work something out. And thank you all to all the new subscribers to the channel. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm almost near 1,000 subscribers, guys. And once I reach 1,000, I'm going to be giving away a Thread Up DIY jewelry box, this five pounders, just like this. So you definitely want to hit subscribe so you can be notified of when the giveaway starts. Okay, guys, let's open this up. And these boxes cost $44 plus tax and shipping. So I think they come out to around $47, $48 for me. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we have. Let's take it out of the box. Okay. And I would like to say that sometimes these thread up jewelry boxes are not always great. So, but it's a gamble, but they're definitely fun to open up. So this is first impressions, guys. What do we think? I see a beauty right there. That looks beautiful and vintage. So let's dive in and see what we have. All right, let's open it up. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off to the side here and start taking things out. So first thing out of the bag, wow, this is pretty. This is a gorgeous looking necklace. Wow, this is stunning. It's almost like a lace cutout, sort of like a doily. Really gorgeous piece here. I wonder if this was made with the, some sort of a 3D laser. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Really stunning piece. And this is the back of it. And there is no mark on this. It's a lobster clasp. It's beautiful. So let's get a measurement on this. And I do notice there is some dirt or wear there, but I'm sure that can be cleaned up. I mean, overall, I think it is in decent condition, but let's get a measurement on this. So wearable length is about 15 inches around the neck. And then we have a three inch extender. Yeah, guys, so this is stunning. What a beautiful piece. Okay, next we have this pearl necklace here. We have an earring, which is a microphone. How cute is that? Very, very cute. I'm gonna put that off to the side, see if we find a match. But we have this necklace. And it's very long. And it's really beautiful. We have these, I believe these to be faux pearls. Let's see. Hmm, they feel kind of gritty. I don't see a mark on it. But it's very beautiful. I think these are freshwater pearls. I could be wrong. But let's test this clasp here. See if it's sterling. I think it could be. So we'll take the 18 key solution and if the scratch turns bright blue then we have sterling on our hands and if not then we do not. 
so surprised this isn't sterling, but we have this hook clasp here, and it's adjustable. This is the top of it, and then here is how long it is. You could definitely double it up, or wear it as a bracelet even, I would think. But I think that's really lovely. So let's get a measurement on this. This measures, has a 16 inch drop, so it's 32 inches around the neck. And then it has a, I would say, about a one inch extender. So that is beautiful, stunning necklace. Had that. Okay, next we have this bracelet here, and it says Faith. Group blessings, family, strength, love. That's beautiful. It's gold tone. It's a stretchy. The stretch is good on this. And this one measures about six and a half inches around. Very pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be five dollars. It's very cute. I like that a lot. Ooh, we have a chunky monkey of a necklace here, bracelet. It's gold tone links. Really big links here. And this is surprisingly not, oh, it is marked. It has a mark. Ooh, and this is a Monet. So it's very hard to see, but let's see if I can zoom in. And show you the Monet mark. So it says Monet right there. A little hard to read, but we have a Monet here on our hands. And this is really beautiful. Look at that guy's giant toggle clasp. You could easily put this on yourself in the morning <laughs> without asking somebody to help you out. It's gorgeous, but of course it's a little too big for me, but it's beautiful. And this is about a seven and a half inch long. And we will take a measurement of it, laying flat like so. So it's about, yeah, seven and a half inches. It's in beautiful condition. Really gorgeous Monet chain link bracelet. Okay, next we have this little guy. How cute is he? Okay, so this is a doggy, not an octopus. <laughs> this is definitely a doggy. So I don't know if you can see him. Let's see if I can get him to focus. There's our little doggy and he's hanging out of a basket. How cute is that? And happy Easter, by the way, guys. For all those who celebrate. And even if you don't celebrate, it's a great time to just enjoy the beautiful spring and um, the rain and the flowers that are blooming and the trees that are budding. Really great time for new things to happen. So this is beautiful. Really cute brooch here. Let's see, and I see if he's marked. He's a bit dirty on the back, unfortunately. There's a little bit of wear going on in the back there. But he's still quite lovely. He's unmarked, surprisingly. He's so cute. Oh, he's missing an eyeball. Sorry, guys. Didn't see that right away. He's missing an eyeball. And because of that, he will be $2. He's still cute, though. Really like him, though. A lot. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have this beautiful bracelet. These feel cold to the touch. Really beautiful glass beads here. I don't think these are sterling. I'll just do a quick scratch. These are beautiful. Now I can see the copper coming through, so that's not sterling. But these are beautiful glass beads. Pretty sure these are glass. I'm just gonna take the presidium. 
I'm going to test these glass beads, I mean these beads. Yeah, these are glass. Really beautiful. Pretty glass beads. Um, let's get a measurement on this. This measures six and three quarters around. So we have this beautiful glass bead bracelet. And if anybody wants this, this will be stretch it's pretty good. Let's do this one for four dollars. Okay, next, what do we have in here? Let's see. Oh, this is pretty. This is a rhinestone mesh. I've seen this before. It's sort of like a sash or a tie where you can see. Put it around your neck like so. And then you can tie it like a tie. Like that. You can put a little bow on yourself, tie yourself up. And that's really pretty too. Right? Isn't that cute? Yeah. Like that a lot. So this is really cute. Um, let's take a measurement on this. This one is a long guy. This is really beautiful. Let's see. This measures about 40, 49 inches long. And it's really beautiful. It's black gunmetal and we've got these AB rhinestones. It's a little scratchy here, I must say, because of the, the metal here and some of the pieces, but um, yeah, nothing too crazy overall. So that is beautiful. If anybody wants this, we will do. Okay, guys, let's see what else is in here. We have a lot of pieces here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so let's look at this piece first. Very beautiful. This is a, a Melvin. I don't think I'm familiar with this brand, but it's very pretty. It has a lobster clasp here. It looks like it's brass. And then we have these wood beads. And then we have this sort of brassy painted gold beads here. And then these are glass, I believe. Really pretty interesting beads here. And it's really long and it can definitely be doubled up, worn like that, or possibly Tripled up and worn as a choker. If you have a smaller neck, that's really beautiful. Yeah, I love the beads on this. This one measures 23 inch drop, so that is 46 inches around the neck. Really, really beautiful. Beautiful beads on that. And so we have that. Okay, next we have this really pretty earring the gunmetal rhinestones faceted and the clear rhinestones here. Very beautiful. And this is not marked. That's the back of it. Really pretty. Let's see if we find a match to her. It's too bright, probably. Okay, next we have a stretchy. I think this will go into craft. If anybody wants it, it'll be a dollar. Okay, next we have an earring here, dangly. Let's see if we find a match to that. Okay, this looks really pretty. This is very beautiful, but some of the pearls here, if you can see, 
are a tad bit cracked. You can see some of them are cracked. Here, here, and throughout, unfortunately. This one will be one dollar if anybody wants it. Okay, next, ooh, this is a fun necklace. We've got the beautiful shell here. This looks like um, mermaid scales. And this is the back of it. It's a bib mesh style here. And we've got all these beautiful seashell shell lined up here. Very beautiful. It's like mermaid scales. Beautiful. Really pretty. And this is not marked. It's a lobster clasp. Let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures 14 inches around the neck with a three inch extender. That is a whole lot of fun. And if anybody wants this one, this one will be, well, that's fun. $8. That is fun. Okay, next we have Okay, what is this? This is a necklace, and okay, I think all of these are supposed to slide down here. So let's get them to all lined up in, in order. Okay, so this necklace is a bit of a challenge here, but I think we're missing the speed here that holds all of the rest of these in place. It's really pretty. And then we've got these gorgeous metal bindings here. Really pretty. But I'm not going to fix this right now. But if anybody wants it as is, this one will be $3. It needs some help. And next we have this necklace. It has a lobster clasp. And these feel like real pearls. These look like freshwater pearls. And they're gritty. And we have interesting, we have some beach glass here, and then some seashells. I wonder what this is, if this is a type of coral, or, or no, a shell, I think. And all sorts of beads here. Maybe some jasper, not quite sure. Really interesting stones on this guy. Wow, look at that, I love the color of that. And this one's beautiful. Wow, this is a gorgeous necklace. Look at that, guys. Let's take a measurement on this. This measures 18 inches around the neck. And I wonder if this is sterling. I don't think it is, but... Yeah, it's not. It's beautiful, it has all these beautiful natural elements. Gorgeous, I wonder if that's turquoise. Beautiful, so we have that. Okay, next we have another gold tone bracelet, and this one's chunky too, but we have sort of like a double link here. Giant lobster clasp, again, easy on and off, which is great. This one is not marked, surprisingly. Really lovely bracelet. So actually it measures about, let's see, seven and a half inches. Very, very beautiful gold tone, double link bracelet. Okay, next we have this bracelet, very pretty. It has a mark in it, it says, Little Sis, I Love You, 5-1-2000. It's very beautiful. And this one, it's marked, and it says, 14K Italy RBF. Interesting. So I wonder if this is 14 carat, 
could it possibly be? And if that's the case, then maybe this is white gold? I'm not sure. But let's try and get a scratch of it. It has this really interesting clasp here. Really beautiful. Wow. Let's take a scratch of it and take the 14K solution to it. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so let's scratch it here. It's a really nice scratch there. We're going to take it the 14K solution. And if the line stays put, then we have 14K on our hands. Let's see if it is. Okay, guys, I think we have some 14K on our hands. Because the line is definitely staying. Wow. That is beautiful. Whoa. So that is nice. This is a beautiful bracelet. It's a tiny one, too. Well, it's still big for me, but I wonder if we test these stones, if they are glass or not. Let's see. Or could they be something else? And so, by the way, guys, I am doing a giveaway. So once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a DIY thread up jewelry box, just like this one. Can't guarantee what's in it, but I can guarantee that you will get five pounds of jewelry. Sometimes these boxes are great, sometimes they're bad. Oops. Let's see. Oh my God, guys, I could be wrong. Let's bring the Presidium over and let's test to see what these stones could be. I don't know. Okay, guys, this is registering as Oops, sorry guys. Diamond, oh, sorry guys, this is so tiny. Okay guys, so wow, we have this. I don't have to do some research on this, but that is really beautiful. Really stunning. And I don't know if this uh, bracelet was given to, or was made in memory to their sister. I'm not really sure because there is a date here of 5-1-2000, but um, it's gorgeous. And that is a really, really nice find. So I will have to do some research on that. Okay, so next, let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of things. We have a earring, really cute 80s looking mesh. But this is got some wear. So I think you're going to put that into craft, maybe. All right, next we have this necklace, gold tone, lots of sparklies going on here. And it is missing a chump ring or two, I think. Let's see. It's just missing a few jump rings, or just needs to... It's missing a jump ring here. I think that just needs to be reattached there. But that could be an easy fix for somebody. And this is a... EL? Or an FL? And I forgot who this was but I will put the designer down below, if I remember. Um, unfortunately, this is peeling off slightly there, so I think that needs to be glued down a bit. So, because of those flaws, and it's sort of shedding a little bit here, but it's very beautiful <laughs> regardless. Um, it's about 16 inches around the neck with a three inch extender. So as is, I think I will be selling this for $3 if anybody wants it. It just needs a little bit of TLC. So we have that. Okay, next we have these two bangles here because I just see some more here. So I'll take those out. So 
So we have a bunch of these beautiful gold tone pebbled textured bangles and it's sort of, it's a circle and then we have sort of a square around them. Very interesting design, very beautiful. And let's, they're not magnetic. I do you think they are gold tone? Don't see a mark on any of them, but they're very beautiful. And for this, oh, let's take a measurement of this. This one measures seven and a half inches around, and I think they all do. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah, seven and a half. So if anybody wants the set, this will be $8. Very pretty. Okay, then we have this gold tone bracelet. Very pretty links on here. Oh, and this one says something. Let's see what it says. Okay guys, I think I made it out. Okay guys, I think we have a 14 karat bracelet on our hand. There it goes. I believe it says 14 karat. And then on the back here, it says, Italy. So that is pretty amazing, guys. So we had the 14K bracelet before, and now we have another one. Okay. And I'm not really, well, I haven't been very lucky in getting a lot of 14K in the past. I've only had one instance of a really heavy 14K bracelet, a vintage one, in a Goodwill blue box. But this is a really amazing box. Okay, so we're gonna take the 14K solution and test it and see if this is indeed 14K. And if the line stays, then we have 14K on our hands. Okay guys, the line is staying. So that is pretty amazing, whoa. Whoa, so that's the great thing about these thread up DIY boxes and the Google Blue boxes as well, is that you never know what you're going to get. And this is a gorgeous bracelet. Wow, really beautiful. So I'll be holding on to this one to do some more research on, but that is amazing. Okay guys, and I can't guarantee if you're gonna get gold or silver in your next thread up box, but the next one I do get, that one will be going out to the winner of the giveaway. Okay, and this one is really pretty. This one is marked 925, and it's really pretty. These kind of a reddish stone, really beautiful. Okay, let's test these stones and see what they could be. Try and move, try and move this here, and let's see what these stones could possibly be. So this is going up to the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite. So I wonder if these are, I don't know if they're garnets. They don't look as deep red as they could be, but maybe it, they are a garnet. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. So we may need to do some research on that. It's really beautiful. That is really pretty. And let's test this for sterling. That definitely looks like sterling. We'll take our 18K solution and test and see if this turns bright blue. Then we have sterling on our hands and it definitely turns bright blue. So we have some sterling on our hands too. Wow, this is turning out to be a really great 
box so far. Really beautiful bracelet. And let's just take a measurement on this. This one measures approximately, say, seven and a half. This has one of those interesting clasps as well. And let's just make sure. Yeah, this measures about a seven and a half. That is beautiful. Okay, so we have that. Okay, next we have this interesting piece. I'm not sure if this is an earring, but we'll put that off to the side. See what else we get. Okay, we have this bracelet, which is broken, unfortunately, but I think it was a stretch. Unfortunately, it's broken, and this will go into craft. Very pretty enamel pieces here. It does need to be cleaned, but not bad. It just needs to be restrung. So if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Okay, next, what do we have? We have this beautiful piece here. And this one, oh, so I remember the designer now. E.L. is Erica Lyons. So that's Erica Lyons, and we have this really pretty necklace. It is gold tone. There is some wear on the chain. So it definitely needs to be cleaned up and wiped down. And there's some plating loss on the lobster clasp. You can see the copper coming through. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. But I think all of the rhinestones are there. beautiful. So let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures about 18 inches with a 3 inch extender. Very, very pretty. So if anybody wants this Erica Lyons, this one will be $4. Very pretty. Okay. Let's see what else. We have an earring, a bow, really cute. I wonder if this is sterling. And I think it is marked 925 right in there. So that's cute. Let's see if we find a match. We have an ear hook, a kidney wire. Let's see, we have, ooh, these are paired up. Really cute earrings. Gold tone. Really pretty yellow ivory stones. If anybody wants these, these will be three dollars. Very beautiful. Okay, we have a little guy here. This is really pretty and he's a little elk. Elk? I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. Elk? E-L-K, right? Very cute. I wonder if he's sterling too, but we will see if we find its match. We have stretchy here. This will be a dollar if anybody wants it. We have this pin, really pretty with the pearls, and it's a wreath brooch. There is no mark on him. There is a dot of verdigris right there, but nothing too crazy. Really pretty. If anybody wants this brooch, this will be four dollars. Very pretty. We have that. Okay, we have this match to this earring here. Really pretty. The gold tone loss there. I mean, I don't know. It could add to its charm, I think. And I think they're still very cute 80s earrings. So if anybody wants these, these will be $2. Very cute. We have those. Okay, we have this hook here and this little, sort of like a bell top, sort of in a brushed copper. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get through this bag in one sitting, So, but we shall see. I might stop midway, because we're already at 40 minutes, or so. we're already over 30 minutes. So these are cute. I don't know what these are. They feel a little bit weighty, and they look copper. They are not magnetic. Very interesting earrings. We have these. Cute. Okay, guys, let's see what else we have. We have a little lizard. 
cute. And he says, hmm, Hilo, I think. H I L I H I L O Hilo. There's a mark on him. So I wonder if he's sterling, I'm not sure, but we will see if we find a match to him and find out later. Then we have this brushed silver earring. Let's see if I can find a match. We have this shell earring, very pretty. That's the back of it. Let's see what else? Ooh, this looks like a J. Crew. And this is a J. Crew. There's the J. Crew tag. There's a lobster clasp. And this needs a good wipe down. Don't know. That needs a good cleaning. Let's take a wipe to it and see if we can get that off. Hmm. That doesn't seem to want to come off. Oh, because I think there's scratches. So I think there's scratches on this one right here. And I believe these to be Glass. Let's see. These are glass. They're moving towards glass. So I think it might be glass. But there are scratches on them. You can see there and here and here, unfortunately. Very pretty, but there is a little bit of wear to it. That's the back of it. It definitely needs to be cleaned up, and there's wear. Throughout. So, if anybody wants this J. Crew, still very beautiful, it will be $3. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Let's see what's here. We have several items all attached. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have in my hand. We have this beautiful red. I don't know if this is Millefiori, not sure. But it feels like a ceramic bead. It's got these painted flowers and leaves. Very beautiful. That's pretty. Let's see if we find a match to that. Then we have the snowflake earring, really cute. Ooh, this is gorgeous. That is stunning. We have the AB rhinestones and this blue, gorgeous blue color with the marquee cut and the round. And there is a little bit of wear, a little bit of verdigris happening in there. But I think that could be cleaned up and it has a, oh no, I think the clasp is broken, guys. So the clasp is broken. So that sucks. We're missing the little latch thing that turns over. But you know, I think this could be worn as a... I mean, you could remove this pin back if you didn't want to fix it. And you could put a chain through there and hang it and wear it as a pendant. Because that's stunning, guys. Wow, that is just stunning. Very beautiful. And I wonder, I don't think this is, looks like it's gold plated. But I will take the 10K solution and test that and see if it is anything. If the line stays, then it is 10K. Hmm. I mean, it's interesting, the line looks silvery. And the line is staying. I wonder if this is for May. I don't know. Let me do another scratch of it here. And take the 18K solution. See if it turns bright blue. Oops. 
No, it doesn't. So it's not sterling, so it's not Vermeer, and it's not 10K, because you have to wait a little bit sometimes, and the 10K and the line, the scratch line disappeared afterwards. So this is just, oops, just plated, but very pretty and needs help. But if anybody wants this, this one will be, I just love that. I think I might convert it. But if anybody wants to convert it, this one will be, wow, that's just pretty, $4. That's just beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull out these three pieces and then we're gonna stop here as I move my tissues over. We have this beautiful necklace. This looks like a plastic acrylic necklace. Very beautiful, very, very beautiful turquoise color. And it should lay flat on the neck, but unfortunately, huh, I think we're missing the closure here. So this one definitely needs some help. I don't think this is a clasp. No, I don't, it's not. So, if anybody wants this and they want to fix it, this one will be a dollar. It's a shame. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what this necklace is. This looks like a really long one. There is a tag and it says Cold Water Creek. Really pretty cold water creek necklace. There's a bonus here, so we'll take that out. And we have a lobster clasp. This is really pretty. It's brass tone, and it's got these little dangles here. It's amber colored and sort of a clear yellow color. Very pretty. That's very dainty and lovely. Let's take a measurement on this guy. This guy measures about 20 inches wearable length. And then we have a three inch extender. Very, very pretty. Cold water creek necklace. If anybody wants this, this one will be $8. Very beautiful. Okay, and then last for this part one, of the DIY jewelry box, we have this really dainty chain and it's knotted here. And let's see, we have another little teeny tiny knot here. Let's see if I can get that out. And I can't get that little knot out right now, but I will later. And this one says, Peretti, if you could see that. It says Peretti, and then it says AU750 right there. So AU, I believe, is gold, right? And 750, I don't know. Whoa, is this another gold piece? Okay guys, so this is, I believe, to be an 18K necklace. Whoa, so this box has just been wonderful so far. And it has a little tiny, tiny stone right there. So I'm going to test that, and then we'll test the, the chain to see if it is. 18k like it says oh can you see guys so i'm gonna bring this over here sorry guys and then i'm going to test this little teeny tiny teeny tiny stone okay guys so this is a diamond let's test the chain here and it looks like it's going to be gold. We'll take the 18K solution. And if this stays, then we have 
the tin can our hands. Just leave that there for now. Wow, guys, this box has been pretty amazing so far. And we still got a lot to go through. Okay, so that is definitely staying. So we definitely have 18, a little 18K on our hands. Wow, guys. This has been an amazing box so far. Okay, on that note, I think I'm gonna end right here, guys. Um, wow. Okay, so we have this gorgeous 18K necklace. And, wow, I'm just really blown away by this box. And I said before that I'm not really one for finding gold or silver in these boxes. My main goal is to find beautiful jewelry. But So guys, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorites were. What did you think of this box so far? I am reaching 1,000 subscribers, so definitely subscribe down below. Make sure that you're subscribed, guys, because the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is coming soon, and I'm giving away a DIY Thread Up 5-pound jewelry box. And I can't guarantee there's going to be gold or silver in it, but there's always a chance. So definitely subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell notification to be notified of my next video. And my giveaway video is coming up soon, so definitely be subscribed to be notified. And most of all guys, happy Easter and be well.